It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Team Valley Brewery. And it's my first beer from these guys. And this is the Talbot Blonde. They're based in Herefordshire and Worcestershire. So probably on the border there. It's 4.4% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. Pale and smooth with a generous measure of minstrel and pilgrim hops. Here we go. From the Talbot at Nightwick. Oh, I love it. I love it. Looks great. More and more, as time goes on, I'm turning to more traditional beers. Um, very much kind of at the very tail end of my... New England IPA tolerance, if you want to call it that. Kind of bit stuck at the moment. There was a big launch into the supermarkets recently. Lots of New England IPA launched into Sainsbury's and Tesco. Bought them, reviewed them, really bored. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest with you. Really bored at the moment in time. This is I'm recording this in February 2024. If you've been if you if you look if you're watching this in the future uh so kind of looking for more not just traditional beer but kind of barrel aged stouts and other things other things to review rather than kind of new england ipa it seems to be dominating the beer world at the moment still the new england ipa and i just think Especially in 2024. It's been done to death a bit, hasn't it? Let's get this out into a glass and see what we get. Not every beer has to be put into a can. There is a massive market. There is a lot of room for beers in bottles, most definitely. Especially if you go into the more kind of traditional parts of the world, like Herefordshire, Worcestershire, where you're going to get a lot of lovely old pubs up that way, which have been around for hundreds of years. It's very unlikely that you're going to go into a pub around the Herefordshire way, Worcestershire way, your know, thatch cottage pub that's been there for 400 years, go in and see a New England IPA on on the pump type of thing. You know, it's very rare that that's going to happen. Th this type of beer still has a bit of a stranglehold. These, these, these great blondes, these ales, these bitters, and they definitely have their place. And I'm kind of, the reason why I mention all of this now is I'm rediscovering all of these beers after having a bit of bit of a time away myself. From, Cause I move away from different styles. I move in the summertime, I drink a lot of lager, winter time, kind of IPA, bitters, that sort of thing. Now we're into kind of blonde territory. Two finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy this one. And there's some definite sediment there in the bottom of the glass. It was a bottle conditioned beer. The beer was kindly sent to us by bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. If you're looking to try beer from small, quirky little breweries around the UK, which you may never have heard of until now, then the best place to find these beers is bestofbritishbeer.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. It is a subscription service. Check it out if you want to. Every month is like Christmas. You never know what's coming through the door. Aroma. lovely really really lovely a little bit of sweetness coming through a little hoppy lemon like mm, it smells really good let's dive in cheers everybody Ooh, spritz-like, very carbonated, very a 
almost like a, a beer version of a Prosecco. Lots of kind of rushing carbonation, very refreshing, very drinkable. Not Prosecco as in taste, but Prosecco, Prosecco as in feel. Have a look at this now. So um, we're drinking something which is quite a little bit hazy and there's some sediment in the bottom of the glass. But I'm just going to show you, I've got a funny feeling this is going to be one sedimenty beer. But don't panic. This is going to be full of vitamin B, full of goodness. And we're all used to drinking hazy beer now anyway, right? And we look at that, look at the sediment there. Look at that. You see it all drop into the bottom of the glass. Wow. So let's try it now. What I find when you chuck the sediment in to the glass, it knocks some of the carbonation out. So if you're not really overly fond of drinking something quite very carbonated, then chuck the sediment into the bottom of the glass and it, it generally kind of gets rid of some of that carbonation. It's like an ice cream, doesn't it? Let's get in then, let's get in again. Yeah, definitely more of a mellow, placid. Knock some of that carbonation out by adding the yeast to the beer. It's lovely. It's it's very lemon-like, very lemony, limey, very blonde-like. There's definitely flavours from the yeast coming through. Maybe maybe some Belgian yeast used to brew this beer. It's very kind of very hoppy on the back end. That lemon, that lime, kind of hot flavours coming through. But then at the beginning of the beer, it's it's very much like. light wafer biscuit flavors coming through so you got that bit you got that balance of it's <laughs> carbonations Whew, got me um struggling to speak by burping a little bit of sweetness over here a little bit of bitterness over here lovely balanced beer i can imagine as i mentioned being in Shropshire, worcestershire enjoying a beer like this Enjoying it in bottle on a hot sunny day or on draft. Mmm. Really good, really tasty. The grains are great. The hops are great. It's a really well-built beer. Even with all that kind of sediment in there, which I mentioned before is vitamin B. Don't worry about that. It doesn't make the beer undrinkable. It makes it, I, I actually prefer the yeast in the beer, to be honest. Right. Pale and smooth with a generous measure of minstrel and pilgrim hops. The team valley in Worcestershire and Herefordshire has been producing choice hops for hundreds of years. Ah, they're a hop kind of merchant then. The Teen Valley Brewery is based at the Talbot on the banks of the Teen, just eight miles from where it flows into the Seven at Worcestershire. I live less than a mile from the Seven Estuary. I'm looking out past Barry Island though, and it's about a mile or so long, wide. So, you know, um, back up that way, it'd be a small river, the Seven. And, and down here, there's like a massive blooming estuary. You know, the Seven Bridge has got to cross the damn thing. Um, our beers are brewed with malt grown in the UK and hops from the Midlands. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. A great British beer from a great British hop and brewery merchant. Fantastic. I'm going to rate this one. Really tasty. Really tasty brew. Looks, okay, it's hazy, but I still think that looks good. It smells good. It tastes good. Mm. 
I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.